Students, welcome back to the biology class. We are discussing classification of animals. Till now, we have learned that animal kingdom is classified on the basis of absence or presence of backbone. Animals with backbone are known as vertebrates, whereas animals without backbone are known as invertebrates. We also learned that vertebrates are further divided into five classes. These are pisces, amphibians, reptiles, aves, and mammals. We have discussed these classes in detail. Today we will start with invertebrates. Invertebrates are animals which have no backbone or animals without a bony skeleton. Invertebrates are in different shapes and sizes. Over 90% of all species on earth are invertebrates. Invertebrates are incredibly diverse. They can live in fresh water, salty water, on land, and as parasites in the bodies of other animals. The invertebrates are further divided into eight different groups or classes. These are porifera, which are pore bearing animals and consist mainly of sponges, cnidarians, which are hollow sac like animals and mainly consists of jellyfishes, platyhelminths, which are also known as flat worms, as they have thin and ribbon flat bodies, annelids or segmented worms, as their body is segmented forming rings, nematoda or round worms, as the body is cylindrical in shape. Platyhelminths, nematoda and annelids are usually categorized as worms. Mollusca contain soft-bodied shelled animals. Examples are snails and clams, echinoderms, which are also known as spiny-skinned animals and majorly consists of sea stars or starfishes, arthropods, which are also known as animals with jointed legs. They include insects, crabs and spiders. Let us explore the world of invertebrates. Out of the five kingdoms for classifying living organisms, the animal kingdom contains by far the greatest number of known species. Traditionally, species were classified into two major groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with an internal spinal column, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. In contrast, Invertebrates are animals that do not have a spinal column. However, today, this classification has become scientifically obsolete. Surely, you still remember that scientists have divided each kingdom of living organisms into large groups called phyla. Vertebrates represent only the vast majority of the phylum chordata. Invertebrates are grouped into approximately 40 different phyla. Indeed, more than 90% of existing animal species are invertebrates, and most of them belong only to eight phyla. Porifera, or sponges, the simplest of all invertebrates, nadarians, including corals and jellyfish, platyhelminths, flatworms with one opening in the digestive tube which serves as both mouth and anus, nematodes, round, slender worms with a differentiated mouth and anus, annelids, a different type of round worm with their body divided into segments, mollusks, including a wide variety of animals such as mussels, snails, and octopuses, echinoderms, including sea stars, the most prominent representative of this phylum, and arthropods, characterized by having joined appendages and an external skeleton. This phylum includes animals such as ants, beetles, crabs, spiders, scorpions, and centipedes. So today we learned that invertebrates are further divided into eight different groups. These are porifera, nidaria, platyhelminths, nematoda, mollusca, Annelida, Arthropoda, and Echinodermata. 
do you know out of these groups which group of invertebrates contain greatest number of species find it out thank you and stay safe